But we, we do want a close coupling between collective human intelligence and digital intelligence. Neuralink is trying to help in that regard by creating a, a high bandwidth interface between AI and, your, and human brain. During a recent show and tell recruiting event, Musk's health and medical tech business, Neuralink, showcased advances in its brain implant technology. The billionaire happily said he intends to obtain one of the implants. Musk said that two of the company's apps would try to restore eyesight, even for those born blind. A third application would concentrate on the motor cortex, restoring whole body functioning for patients with spinal cord cuts. We are sure that there are no physical barriers to restoring complete bodily functions, Musk stated. Obviously, we want to be really cautious and ensure that it will operate properly before putting a device in a person. But we've filed, I believe, most of our documentation to the FDA, he said. Elon later added that, as magical as that may seem, we're sure that it is feasible to restore complete physical functions to someone who has a severed spinal cord. Musk displayed a video of a monkey with a computer chip implanted in its skull playing telepathic video games which Neuralink initially demonstrated over a year ago. The billionaire said at the time that he intends to implant Neuralink chips into quadriplegics with brain or spinal injuries so that they may control a computer mouse or their phone or virtually any device simply by thinking. So maybe it is still in early testing stages, but the progress is visible and multi-year testing has shown some results. At the moment, none of Neuralink's devices have been tested on people or authorized by the FDA, and that is causing many brain and medical experts to question whether Musk is choosing the right way to pursue this technology. Zing Chen, an assistant professor in the Department of Ophthalmology, School of Medicine at the University of Pittsburgh, is very skeptical. He argues that Neuralink is a firm that does not have to answer to shareholders, and that's why he is not sure how much supervision is involved. Despite that, he said he believes it's important for the public to remember that before anything is authorized by the FDA or any other government regulatory agency, all claims must be reviewed by enough independent medical organizations. Chen, a BCI expert, said that Neuralink's implants would need a very invasive operation. To put the gadget into the brain tissue, doctors need to drill a hole into the skull. Nonetheless, she believes that some individuals are ready to accept the risk. There are a number of conditions such as epilepsy, Parkinson's disease, and obsessive compulsive disorder in which patients have gotten brain implants and the disorders have been treated pretty well, enabling them to have an enhanced quality of life. So some similar precedents of brain implant operations have happened before. One of the main areas of focus for Neuralink is the development of brain-computer interfaces that can be used to control external devices such as computers, prosthetic limbs, and even vehicles. By recording neural activity and interpreting it as specific commands, BCIs allow users to control devices with their thoughts. This has the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with technology and make it more intuitive and natural. In order to achieve these goals, Neuralink is developing a variety of cutting-edge technologies. The company's most notable achievement to date is the development of flexible, thin-film electrodes that can be implanted into the brain with minimal damage. These electrodes are able to record neural activity with high resolution and accuracy, and can be used to both record and stimulate specific brain regions. Additionally, Neuralink is also developing advanced algorithms that can be used to interpret the neural data recorded by its devices, allowing for more accurate and effective stimulation. In addition to its technological achievements, Neuralink is also working on making its devices more user-friendly and accessible. The company is developing a wireless communication system that can be used to transmit neural data to and from its devices, allowing for real-time monitoring and control. Additionally, Neuralink is working on a robot that can be used to implant its device into the brain, reducing the need for invasive surgery. Neuralink, a full-spectrum neurotechnology company, and that's why it is developing advanced brain-computer interface technology with the goal of ultimately creating a seamless connection between the human brain and computers. They have developed a brain-machine interface that includes a small chip implanted into the skull and flexible threads that connect to neurons in the brain, which are capable of recording neural activity and transmitting that information to a computer for analysis. The potential applications of this technology are broad and varied, 
and could include treating neurological disorders, restoring mobility to people with paralysis, enhancing human cognitive abilities, and even creating a direct neural interface that would allow people to control machines or devices with their minds. However, it's important to note that the technology is still in early stages of development and it's not clear how successful it will be in achieving these goals in the future. Elon Musk's brain chip startup has been working tirelessly to achieve something meaningful in the industry that has not much to show off yet. Therefore, Neuralink has no time limit on when the final product, aka chip, will be ready for human use. I always wonder what is the real impact of a brain chip that really works and improves lives. You may have a Neuralink device implanted right now and you probably have no idea it is there. Maybe that's why Elon has said that he intends to get one installed, just for fun. However, you must know that currently Neuralink primarily seeks people with tetraplegia or tetraparesis, visual loss, paraplegia, deafness, or aphasia. Tetraplegia, sometimes known as quadriplegia or tetraparesis, is a disorder in which individuals are paralyzed or unable to move all limbs. Paraplegic individuals are paralyzed in just two limbs. Another one is aphasia, which is a language issue caused by brain injury, which results in an inability to speak correctly. The brain machine interface developer is looking for anyone interested in participating in Neuralink's future clinical studies. Participants in the Neuralink patient registry must be at least 18 years old and either US citizens or permanent residents. Through the patient registry, they want to get a better knowledge of people's medical and assistive technology requirements on a bigger scale, allowing us to intelligently design future clinical trials and neurotechnology products that fit these people's needs. Neuralink is also a neurotechnology company that has a mission to create a symbiosis between humans and artificial intelligence by developing devices that can be implanted in the human brain to help improve cognitive abilities and treat neurological disorders. One of the main areas of focus for Neuralink is the development of implantable brain-machine interfaces. These devices consist of small electrodes that can be implanted into the brain allowing for the recording of neural activity and the stimulation of specific brain regions. By recording and stimulating specific regions of the brain, Neuralink hopes to enable the restoration of lost cognitive abilities and the enhancement of existing ones. One of the most promising areas of research for Neuralink is the treatment of neurological disorders such as Parkinson's disease, epilepsy, and depression. Parkinson's disease, for example, is caused by the degeneration of dopamine-producing neurons in the brain. By using implantable BMIs, Neuralink hopes to restore the function of these neurons, thereby improving the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. Similarly, implantable BMIs have the potential to be used in the treatment of epilepsy by detecting and preventing seizures before they occur. Neuralink is a company with an ambitious goal of creating devices that can be implanted into the human brain to help improve cognitive abilities and treat neurological disorders with the ultimate goal of creating a symbiosis between humans and AI. The company is developing a variety of cutting-edge technologies from flexible, thin-film electrodes to wireless communication systems, with the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with technology. Several companies are developing brain-computer interface technology with a wide range of potential applications such as helping people with neurological disorders, restoring vision in the blind, assisting people with paralysis to regain control and sensation in their limbs, and allowing people to control machines with their mind. These companies include BlackRock Neurotech, BrainGate, Synchron, and of course, the famous Neuralink that belongs to Elon Musk. Inside a dark, cold lab in 2016, Musk and a handful of other scientists and engineers launched Neuralink, a brain-computer interface company. The objective is to insert flexible electrode threads into the brain, where they can gather impulses from neurons. These signals are then wirelessly related to a neighboring computer. Neuralink intends to implant these electrodes by shooting small holes in the skull using lasers. Musk claimed that the next edition of Neuralink's brain-computer interface gadget will be amazing. He said the earlier versions would most likely be geared at recovering brain functions for patients suffering from significant neurological illnesses. Later versions would almost certainly have even more ambitious goals, such as increasing human intellect and symbiosis with artificial intelligence. Musk has invested tens of millions of dollars from his personal fortune into the company and has stated 
without evidence that Neuralink's devices could enable superhuman cognition, allow paralyzed people to operate smartphones or robotic limbs with their minds, and solve autism and schizophrenia. Quite a unique and intelligent ideology, right? Elon Musk does this all the time, doesn't he? Despite its achievements, there are still many challenges that Neuralink needs to overcome before its technology can be widely adopted. One of the main challenges is the risk of brain injury and infection associated with the implantation of BMIs. Additionally, there are also ethical concerns surrounding the use of BMIs, particularly in regards to the enhancement of human cognitive abilities. Despite these challenges, Neuralink has made significant progress in the development of brain-machine interfaces. With further research and development, Neuralink's implantable BMIs have the potential to revolutionize the way we treat neurological disorders and enhance human cognitive abilities. It is an exciting time for the field of neurotechnology, and we can expect to see many breakthroughs and advancements in the near future.